Hey, and welcome to this edition of Breastfeeding Buddies. Today we're going to be talking about how the body makes milk, and I think it's good to understand milk supply to know the parts of the breast. So we're going to start with that this morning. So the first structure of the breast is the nipple. So we'll draw that right here. The nipple actually protrudes and gets a little bit bigger during pregnancy in preparation for breastfeeding. Then around the nipple is a darkened area called the areola. The areola, the areola actually also um, becomes darker and larger during pregnancy, and they think that that's a visual cue for the baby to be able to find the breast, uh, the nipple for feeding. Some moms will notice little pimple-like structures on the outside of the areola, and these are glands that secrete a substance that helps keep the nipple moist, so helps keep it from drying out. It also prevents bacterial growth and smells like amniotic fluid. They think that that also helps guide the baby to the nipple for feeding. Um, the reason why we don't recommend that you use any lotions or soaps on the nipple is because it washes some of those good secretions away. The milk-making cells are called um, alveoli, and they've been described as looking like a cluster of grapes back in the breast. And each one of these clusters has a highway system of ducts where they're all connected down to one main milk duct that then comes down and out through the nipple. The nipple actually has about 4 to 18 holes where milk comes out. So each one of these structures um, connects to a main milk duct that comes down and out through the nipple. Um, basically, the more milk that a mom can get out of her breast, um, the more milk she's going to produce. A good way to think about it is like a milk factory. When the demand is high, a factory produces enough um, to meet the demand. But when the demand is low, workers are laid off and the factory slows down production. The first few weeks are really critical for a mom in producing milk. Um, in the early weeks when a baby is feeding at the breast and removing milk, a good way to think about it is a mom is building milk tanks and those milk tanks are being filled with milk. The more the baby feeds from the breast and the more milk that's removed, the more of these tanks she's going to build and fill with milk. If the milk is not being removed from the breast, then those tanks are going to sit full and that actually will send a signal to the brain telling the body to slow down milk production and stop producing those milk tanks. The number of milk tanks that a mom builds and fills in the, in the early weeks will determine the peak milk supply that she's going to have for her baby the whole time she's breastfeeding. And those milk tanks can only be built in the first couple of weeks. That's why it's so critical in the beginning that moms are feeding on demand whenever the baby is hungry and making sure that she's regularly removing milk from her breasts. The amount of milk that a mom produces in the beginning is small. Um, the baby's stomach is only about the size of a marble, and you can see with the amount of milk that mom's producing, it's pretty easy to fill up that marble several times during the day. So even though mom's producing a small amount, it's the right amount for the baby. In the first 24 hours, a baby usually is taking about 2 to 10 milliliters of colostrum per feeding. And colostrum is kind of a yellowish, thicker liquid. It's the first milk that the mom has, and it usually lasts from about birth to about four days. This milk is full of antibodies and great things for the baby. It's actually considered the baby's first immunization. And so it truly is all the baby needs. Um, typically, there's no need to supplement in the first 24 hours after birth. If the baby still seems hungry, the best thing to do is just latch that baby back to the breast. The increased stimulation is going to help increase mom's milk supply. And mom's milk supply increases rapidly. Um, the amount that she's usually producing about one ounce of milk um, on day one. By day two, um, she's up to about four ounces of milk. And then by day five, she's making anywhere from 19 to 24 ounces of milk. By the end of the second week, moms are usually producing about 20 to 24 ounces of milk in a day, which is about one ounce of milk per hour. Um, so I think the best thing to remember with milk supply is the law of supply and demand. So really the more milk out, the more milk mom's going to produce. So thank you for joining us today for Breastfeeding Buddies, and I hope that you'll tune in again next week. Um, we do this every Tuesday at 10 o'clock. Thanks so much.